वेलकम बैक प्रॉब्लम फोर डैश थर्टी सेवन सो स्टेटमेंट इज इफ द सपोर्ट्स एट ए एंड सी आर फ्लेक्सीबल एंड हैव स्टिपनेस के डिटरमाइन द सपोर्ट रिएक्शन एट ए एंड सी द मटीरियल हैज़ मॉडुलस ऑफ इलास्टिसिटी ऑफ ई सो यू कैन सी देर आर टू शॉर्ट दैट आर जॉइंट टूगेदर एट पॉइंट बी एंड देर इज अ लोड ऑफ पी इज अप्लाइड द डायमीटर ऑफ दिस शॉर्ट इज डी वाइल दिस शॉर्ट हैविंग डायमीटर थ्री बाई फोर टाइम्स डी The length is 2a from a to b and from b to c it is small a, and it is given that this port a and b are flexible. What does it mean? It means that it can slightly move. So due to this their movement, it will displace and there will be uh, and its stiffness is k. So this displacement is given by f over k. Clear? So we have to find the reaction sub, uh, support uh, force at point c and a so let's start with the solution first step is that if we remove this reaction uh, support at point c so there will be reaction force which is re represented as fc and if we remove this support at point a so there will be a reaction force fa as well so by applying equation of equilibrium that sum of all forces along x direction must be equal to 0 and force in this direction is positive so a minus fa plus minus fc plus p will be equal to 0 so minus fa plus p minus fc will be equal to 0 now what we will do is that uh, we will apply compatibility equation compatibility equation and we will use method of superposition method of superposition in order to solve this question to get our reaction forces so it is given that uh, this reaction uh these supports are flexible having stiffness key k so if i draw it if i draw the free body diagram of this so it will be like i will draw it like this so if this is the first shaft clear and there is a point p load on it so since this supports are flexible so i will represent it with a spring clear so this is point a and again there is a hinge in between these two and there is a small shaft of diameter 3 by 4 and also there is this point c this is also flexible so i will represent it c now you can see that due to this forces fc and fa so there will be a slight displacement so which will be equal to this one so if this as initial point so that will be there will be a slight displacement due to this fc and fa so i will represent this displacement as del c clear and we will use method of superposition so what does it means that if i take this point a as same with this only this force and neglect the reaction force at point c and draw the free body diagram so definitely there will be uh, elongation there will be a displacement of this point and the p points will move to a new position so this is your p now and the remaining this portion will go forward there will be increase in the length okay so what if i take a horizontal line vertical line in order to take it as a reference line so now you can see due to this load p there will be an increase in length of this length which is equal to 2 times a and this is a distance a also there is increase in length of this 
distance as well so we will take we will take this distance as del p change in length due to force p so this is equal to this your first case plus using method of superposition the second case is that if you neglect this force if you neglect this force and apply this fc so what will be the behavior so again this is your point a now due to this force fc if you neglect this and apply a force so there will be a compression over here clear so i will draw it like this there will be a compression this is your point this is your starting point and your p will move to the length of this 2a will reduce this is there is a hinge and also this 2a length uh, are uh, you can see that this length will be this will be your fc here it you will be having fc clear so again if you take this as this so this distance is del fc because this force exert over here so there will be elongation in this region which is del fc and there will be a compression in this length 2a and this a so you can see in start this is the initial condition and we have split it into two cases but their sum will be equal to the case sum of case one and case two will be equal to this case clear and this is called method method of superposition now you can see initially this del c this del c is equal to del p minus del fc so we will write it this del c is equal to del p minus del fc so this del c is equal to uh, fc over k because we have already studied that f is equal to kx by elastic force spring elastic force so uh, f by k is equal to x and this x is displacement so here displacement is delta c so it will be equal to fc over k and that is equal to change in length due to this p so this p causes elongation in this rod having diameter d and there is a elongation in this spring due to this force p so i will write it it will be equal del p will be equal to p divided by k because due to this force p there is elongation in this uh, you can say spring because this support is a flexible having stiffness k plus elongation in this rod of length 2a so it will be equal to p into 2a divided by its area which is pi by 4 d square into e clear minus now we will take this case so fc which is causing a decrease in length of this a as well as 2a and there is increase in length of this spring there are support that this slightly moves so minus fc into a divided by area which is pi by 4 the diameter of this rod is 3 by 4 d clear so pi by 4 3 by 4 d square into e plus the change in length of this 2a rod clear so it will be fc into 2a divided by area which is pi by 4 the diameter of this rod is d clear you can see over here so d square into e plus this del fc which is equal to fc over k 
so f c over k now you have to simplify it by yourself when you simplify it you will get this f c all the terms you will get in term of f c so f c will be equal to 9 into 8 k a plus pi square d pi d square pi d square e divide by 136 k times a plus 18 pi d square e in times p so this is your fc it is not necessary that you will get the same you can do it by your own self to get fc and when you get this fc so put it in equation this was your equation equation one let's say this is equation on number one so put it in equation one we will get f a will be equal to six times k a plus nine pi d square e divide by 136 times k a plus 18 pi d square into e and it will be multiplied with p it's a lengthy procedure you have to do it because you know these things and and this way you will solve this problem and that was all about problem 4-37 i hope you have enjoyed this video and you have learned from it those who are new to my channel then subscribe it and press the bell icon so that you can get notification about my latest video if you have any question you can ask me in comment section thank you for watching